Okay, here's a uh, quick overview and uh, maybe a little history on uh, this bike and also the plans moving forward. Uh, so this bike is, the, the goal is uh, to be able to do powered wheelies through our suburban neighborhood and not having anyone complain. Um, so this bike is meant to kind of be like those Super 73s, um, but it's based on a bike that we built a while back for my son when he was six, right? And uh, it's a, uh, um, a Mongoose King Kong, bought it from Walmart. Um, so this bike came with a 100 millimeter bottom bracket. Um, and I happen to have a uh, BBSO2 at the time that I had gotten, that I took off of another mountain bike build that I had that I, I upgraded to a BBS HD. Um, so to put it on this mongoose frame, I had to cut the bottom bracket down. Um, so it was 100 millimeters. I was able to cut it down to about 72, and that allowed me to mount this 68 millimeter uh, BBS 02 on it. Um, if you saw my previous video, I was, uh, you know, I, I've been riding this thing, rode it a little bit, cycled a few batteries through it, and, uh, you know, I am able to wheelie it, uh, but it's a little hard to wheelie, right? So things um, need to have the right power level to make them easy to wheelie. You really, if, if they're underpowered, um, it's hard to recover when you, um, you know, when it, when the front end starts to drop, you want to be able to goose it and bring it back up. You know, and that being said, you certainly don't want too much power. You don't want to loop it out, right? So right now it uh, is underpowered with the BBS-02. Um, and of course there's ways to hot rod stuff, but a BBS-02 is not really known for being robust, right? So if it, if we hot rodded it, um, it, uh, you know, we might burn it up. You know, there is a chance we could overvolt it perhaps, um, run it on 72 volts instead of 48, um, drop the amperage down. But, uh, tell you what we're going to do instead is we're going to, I just got this, uh, BBS HD. And this one has, is made for a 100 millimeter bottom bracket. Uh, so if you wanna make this build yourself and you bought a, just from, from Walmart, that uh, King Kong, Mongoose King Kong, right? It would come with a 100 millimeter bottom bracket. But in the next video, um, I'm gonna be able to use these shims to pretty much restore that bottom bracket to the 100 millimeter. And we'll just see how well the HD fits. I'm guessing it's just gonna fit right on, right? So this should be uh, substantially more power. Well, not substantially. The BDSO2 puts out about 1250 watts. HD puts out 1500. Difference being the HD is way more robust. So if we need to, we may upgrade to this Kelly controller, which can give it 50 amps. So we have a path forward if it's not uh, as powerful as we want, right? Then we're gonna take this BBSO2 and we're gonna put it on this bike. So this is, was my son's next size bike. This is a Scott 24, right? And it has a 68 millimeter bottom bracket. Uh, so that BBS-02 should readily go on this, right? And then this, this is a bit like a uh, Super 73, right? If you don't know what that is, Google it. You'll, you'll see it's like a modern mini bike with the same 20 inch wheels, four inch wide. This will be hopefully more like a Zeus, the Z-O-O-Z, uh, which has, uh, Pretty much the same wheels and tires, right? Those come with a 24 inch diameter and a 2.5 Maxxis hook worms. And that's what this happens to have. So uh, in the future, we'll upgrade this. So let's just take a quick look at this and see where we're at, right? So from, you know, it was a 
standard pedal bike. We put that uh, BBSO2 on it, cut the bottom bracket to make it fit, right? My son, uh, he was six, right? I was running this small, um, there you go, 36 inch chain ring on it, right? That, uh, you know, gave him a top speed of like 14 miles an hour, which was perfect for a six year old. Uh, but now that we make it in a wheelie bike, um, we experimented with some different size chain rings, right? And what we ended up with was uh, this 42 right now seems to be uh, okay, right? Um, and I did have to, you can see how it is shimmed right there. Yeah, there you go. Um, so what, I took a little experimentation to get a good chain line, but uh, that, uh, that seems to work. You can get in low gear, you can get in high gear, right? We reused the crank arms that came on this bike, so they're six inches long, right? Threw on some cool uh, tires, the Speedster um, 20 inch by 4.0, right? And then put this banana seat on, and that made us necessitated building these mounts here now if you're going to do this at home they have much more basic uh, banana seat mounts that you could use you know but i wanted to have those stand up pegs so we just fab these up ourselves right and then we threw uh, a kind of bmx motocross handlebar on there right and i have so i run the rear brake on the left and upgraded to a Shimano MT201, right? Still not happy with that braking power. So in the next video, we'll do some mods. We're either gonna upgrade to a 180 millimeter rotor or a 203. So we'll see. Um, maybe we just go straight to the 203. It's got a, a 160 on there now, right? Um, so we'll upgrade that. We'll put the BBS, BBS HD on there. And the other thing, uh, well, you can see I cut the battery connector off. Uh, it was jacked up. So we'll put a new one on before we put it on to that bike. Um, in this bracket, I've been running two 5,200 milliamp hour 6S batteries. Now these are lipo batteries that my uh, son uses in his helicopter. Um, so they're not real big, but I can put those in here and I can take this thing and run it up and down the street doing wheelies for like an hour, you know, which is, which is all I really need, right? So if you were uh, trying to commute or something and you were just holding it wide open, you, I don't know how many miles you'd go, probably not that many. Um, but yeah, so, and the other thing that's a little uh, different is, so I am running this with no display, right? So what I ended up doing was made this wire right here, took an old wiring harness from a, a BBS system, right? And I forget, I think I jumpered the brown wire something, and then the other one goes to the throttle. Anyways, now the way this one works is as soon as you plug the battery in, the system is on and it's in just one gear that, uh, or one mode, and that mode does not have any pedal assist whatsoever. And it has throttle only, which I have as a twist throttle. So again, this, is, this bike is, just four wheelies up and down the street in our suburban neighborhood with nobody complaining. Um, so <clears throat> stay tuned and we will change that out with that BBS HD. Then uh, see how that does. We'll upgrade the brakes to those rotors. That'll require uh, taking this stuff apart so we can kind of, you guys can see how those, you know, banana seat support brackets go together. And then let's put the BBSO2 onto the Scott 24, right? 
see how that wheelies. Now, you know, we're taking the BBSO2 off of this because it doesn't have a lot of power. But this thing is, you know, Chinese steel. It's a pig, man. It's heavy, big, fat, high rolling resistance tires. The Scott, this, this is the real deal, man. This is an aluminum frame with great bearings. And in fact, when my son got it, he, he called it the marble because it just rolled so smooth, right? So hopefully what we find out is that uh, the BBSO2 on this bike is um, enough power for it to, to feel good, right? And then we do got uh, the gravity... Uh, fat bike with the cyclone motor and the Kelly controller in the background too. Um, so, well, you know, stay tuned. There'll be more. All right. See ya.